Let us teach the New Testament. First Epistle of John, Lesson 4, 1 John 2, verses 12 through 17. In this fourth of 15 lessons on the New Testament book of 1 John, we shall deal with the following nine matters. I'm writing to you little children, because your sins are forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you children, because you know the father. I write to you fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desires, but whoever does the will of God, abides forever. You may obtain a document of nine variants in Greek manuscripts of 1 John 2, 12 through 17 from the download site. One fourth century manuscript has a neuter definite article, the, making evil a thing, whereas all others have a masculine article making it a person. In both cases, it is a reference to the devil. Likewise, a 4th and a 9th century manuscript have a neuter article, meaning that which was from the beginning, instead of a masculine article meaning he who was from the beginning. Their scribes may have remembered the neuter pronoun from chapter 1 verse 1. In both cases, it is a reference to Jesus Christ. This outline of 1 John 2, 12 through 17, derives from a linguistic discourse analysis rather than from ancient or modern theology. 1 John 2, 12 through 17, is rich in vocabulary. Here we note abide, which means to remain where one is, to continue to exist, last, persist, continue to live. Evil pertains to that which is morally or socially worthless, wicked, evil, bad, base, vicious, degenerate. Here it is the devil, the evil one, who is defined not as a sinner, but as one who is morally destructive. The Greek term bios for life refers to one's worldly goods. The name the new community of Christian believers saw in the name something real, a piece of the very nature of the personality whom it designates, expressing a person's qualities and powers. Thus your sins are forgiven on account of Jesus' name, that is, who he is and what he has done. Pride refers to the pretension or arrogance, in word or deed, arising from one's possessions. World refers not to human persons, but to the affairs of the world. Everything that belongs to the world, which is hostile to God, lost in sin, wholly at odds with anything divine, ruined and depraved. The Greek negative imperative, do not love the world, is in the verbal present tense. This tense implies that some Christians were still enamored with the godless Roman political and economic systems or were devoted to Greek learning or philosophy. One can rightly translate 
Stop Loving the World When John wrote of the love of the Father, did he mean the love that the Father has for us Christians, a subjective genitive, or the love that Christians have for the Father, an objective genitive? John calls us Christians to shift our love away from the godless world system to show our love for the Father. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you teachable ideas and summaries from the passage. For example, seven advantages for Christian believers. Your sins are forgiven. You know him who is from the beginning. You have overcome the evil one. You know the Father. You are strong. The word of God abides in you, and you will abide forever and six dangers that menace the enjoyment of those advantages. Here are three historical Christian doctrines arising from this passage that your congregation, study group, or house church may need to understand better. The knowledge of God. Christian believers know God in their thoughts about him, in their emotions towards him, and in their experience of him. They communicate with God through prayer, through reading his words, and sometimes in visions or in an inner voice. God's Holy Spirit indwells Christian believers, producing in them the fruit of the Spirit and distributing spiritual gifts for mutual service. The Forgiveness of Sins When non-believers repent, putting their faith in Jesus Christ, God forgives them all of their past sins. Throughout their lifetime on earth, Christian believers become aware of many ways in which they sin in their thoughts, words, and deeds. So they often confess their sins to God, who forgives them and cleanses them from all unrighteousness because of Jesus' death on his cross. The Will of God God has expressed his will in three main ways. Firstly, God has foretold what he would do in creating humans, in sending Jesus to die for sins, and in revealing eternal life and death. Secondly, God formerly expressed his will for human behavior by issuing his laws, by speaking through his prophets and his Messiah Jesus, and by revealing the books of the New Testament. Thirdly, God leads Christian believers by replying to their prayers by distributing gifts of the Holy Spirit, and by opening opportunities for service. In small gatherings and house churches, after having someone or several read through 1 John 2, 12 through 17, pose the following queries. What have you learnt from this passage about God? About Jesus? About your advantages? about the world. Whilst preaching, teaching, or leading, recommend ways in which to apply the passage or put it into practice. For example, take time for everyone to pray thanking the Father for their eternal advantages. Discuss together ways in which to please God during the week. Invite everyone to repent of the pride each one feels for their possessions. Pray that everyone's heart be filled with a renewed love for their Heavenly Father. Please read five times 1 John 2 verses 18 through 27 before you view the next video lesson. If you leave comments or queries, or write to me at the download site, I shall try to reply to you by email or in a following video.